everyone, today I have a spring 2012 fashions video. I'm really excited about this one because I put together 10 outfits this time, which is like the most I ever do and it takes a while to do it, but I think that it always turns out really well. So I hope you guys enjoy this and I hope you guys like the outfits that I picked out. If you have any questions about certain pieces or certain styles, just ask me in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them. Keep in mind that these outfits might not necessarily be designed for your springtime. Your spring could be like my summer or like my winter or like my fall, you know what I mean? Um, so it all kind of depends. If you like an outfit and say I styled it where it's a little too warm for your climate, then what you could do is just take off the cardigan or take off the sweater or something and then it'll be perfect for your climate. So just adjust according to where you live. I can't really cater to every single climate zone so I hope you guys enjoyed this nevertheless and have a fabulous day. Bye guys! Alright, let's get started. Now for this first outfit I'm using one of the tricks that I always use for spring fashion and that is you take a shirt on top and then a dress on the bottom and you belt it in the middle. So basically you're tucking that shirt under and it looks so pretty and I think it's really great because you can style stripes with just a plain pattern if you want to jazz up a just simple dress then you could put on a pair of wedges and it's a perfect little outfit this next outfit is a little bit more sophisticated I think it's really really great now these are uh, pretty much like ankle leggings and I really love them. They're jeggings but they're to your ankle. They're super stretchy, very comfortable from Old Navy. Then I'm wearing some metallic wedges that really complement the tangerine shirt nicely and then I put on this little vest right on top of it. It has co cool detailing on the sides and then my Marc Jacobs crossbody bag. Next, I have a really cute outfit as well. This one is definitely very colorful. So basically, I just put on my favorite pair of jean shorts and I put on a nice little rope belt that has a bit of color in it that matches the scarf, picks up on some of the colors in there. Then I have this really nice kind of minty blue sweater and it's very comfortable and then I'm wearing my snook. So that's a very colorful outfit, flirty and still really, really cute. Now this is the one that's a little bit more daring and the wind was freaking out so sorry about that but these are my harem pants and they're from H&M. They're very comfortable, a little bit hard to style but I think this outfit turned out really nicely because you can wear this uh, definitely somewhere a little bit more dressy but at the same time it can be casual. So this is a crop top, it's kind of a navy color and then underneath I put this floral shirt because I think that the floral really pops out nicely and then I just wore some black flats so I really love that outfit although it is a little bit daring. Then this next outfit is again for those of you who like color. These shorts are from H&M. They're so comfortable, really cute, high waisted so they're very flattering on all body types. Then I'm wearing some yellow flats to just add another pop of color. And if it's a little bit colder on a certain day you can throw on a cardigan over top of it and I think this striped one just looks really nice with the outfit. Um, it's a little bit different. You wouldn't necessarily think to put that or to pair these two things together but I think they complement each other really well and it turns out to be really adorable. And that's my dog, Luna. <laughs> Next, again, is an outfit that's a little bit more dressy. Um, I'm just wearing these white pants, and I rolled them up at the bottom. And then I'm wearing those metallic heels again. They're very comfortable, the wedges, sorry. And then I'm wearing this floral blouse. It's very, very colorful, really cute. And then over top, I have this denim little blouse-type jacket thing. So if it's a little bit colder, you could throw that on, and you'll be set. Next, I used a cardigan as a shirt rather than a cardigan, pretty much. Because a lot of the times, I think that people leave cardigans unbuttoned and wear them over things, which is really great. It's a great way to layer uh, clothing, but I think it looks really cute when it's all buttoned up, too. And this is a floral cardigan from H&M. And then I just have the, on this cute little vintage bangle. And this bright, colorful skirt that has some cool cinching right at the waist. And then I have on... My favorite American Eagle sandals, they're very comfortable in leather and I think they just really look nice with the outfits, very laid back. Next I have another outfit with colorful shorts or pattern shorts. They're very very in this year, um, the denim shorts aren't that in anymore, I mean high waisted ones are but 
a lot of people have been going outside the box and trying different kinds of shorts. So I paired these colorful floral shorts with this nice sweater. And I think it looks really cute, very comfortable, and then again with these sandals. So that's just a really nice outfit. And like I said, you can dress it up or you can dress it down. Next, I have this outfit with basically these ripped J brand jeans. And I got these at a thrift store for a great price. And then this floral shirt, it's tucked in. Um, it's a little bit baggy, but I don't mind. I think it looks really nice. And then again, I have a blouse that I'm not buttoning. And I just let it out. And it's really flowy and very flattering. And this last outfit, again, is using pattern shorts. Uh, this time, they're lace. And these are really comfortable, very cute. And these are great because they're, they can be really dressy if you want them to, or you can dress them down. And I kind of dressed them down with this outfit. I paired it with this kind of pinstriped blouse, and it's very lightweight. And then I put on this cheetah watch to give the outfit a bit of spunk, and then some black flats. So it's very cute and very comfortable. And I just think it's a really adorable outfit. So that is all. That is outfit number 10. I really hope you guys enjoy this, and here are some bloopers for your enjoyment. Hope you have an amazing day about this one because I put together, whoa, whoa. My voice just completely sounded really weird. Okay. My butt is so numb from sitting on the ground. Ugh. <sighs>